Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Max and the Questions and today I want to have a look at a little application called Trickster. And if I press Ctrl Z on my keyboard, this is what I get on my screen. And what it's showing me is showing me the last lot of files I've been working on. And you can work this with a keyboard, so if I press the up arrow now, I'll have a look at the videos I've been looking at recently. I can look at the pictures that I've been looking at recently. The documents of various sorts. This is the applications that I've got going and flagged files so if I want to make sure that I know where to find files I can flag them and find them again this one here is all the different files and you've got a number of different ways of looking at them so that you can change it so that you see more of them in the row there you can see bigger icons or if you want to you can have it instead of time based you can have it as it's alphabetical so that shows everything that you've got there you know including the applications you know we've got byword there we've got uh, cash calculator and we've got the app store all those sort of things there so for instance maybe i want to have something that is going to be flagged so i can find it easier again i can put that in there go to the flagged one and there you go by words in there for me and i should be able to find that easier again if i want to so that's quite useful when i first opened this up it wasn't showing the music ones so i had to go into the preferences and say so i wanted to look in the music folder as well so it showed me things I looked at today in the music end of things and uh, before I'd actually switched on the look at the music, music folder so it uh, looked at back in time to see what I've been checking out. Okay, so you've got uh, folders, you've got your downloads. So if you've downloaded something and you, you can't be bothered to open the downloads folder you can go to this here and get at it quite easily. And then you've got your Dropbox stuff there. And you've got favourites too. So for instance, if I want to take this one here, I'm going to take it and move it into the Documents folder. And now that's in the Documents folder. It was in Dropbox, now it's in Documents. But it should still be in this uh, list of files here. So if I go to the Documents here, and it's one called Keywords, wasn't it? So I've put in something here to help me search for it. I can see that uh, this here was in uh, downloads, now it's in documents. Or this one here was in Dropbox and now it's in documents. There you go, it's um, quite easy to um, keep a track of where you put things. And if you don't remember where you put them, you can also uh, get this application to help you. Now let's just go into the uh, preferences. So you've got some um, preferences here. Do uh, command comma to get the preferences. And I will launch automatically at login. My global shortcut for it is Control Z, and it will remove files that have been in this for longer than a week. I think that's uh, long enough. I could change that and have it three days if I wish, but I think I'll leave it as the default of one week. Let's close that. Do uh, Control Z again. Bring back up again. Let's go to this again, and instead of preferences. We can take to empty the list or to show help. And you can open the user manual. And do these other things here with uh, looking for more information on the website. Or finding out about Trickster on Twitter. Now if you want to do some saying where it's going to be looking and what sort of files it's going to be looking for. Then you need to go up to this side here and go to the file tracking settings. These are the watch folders. As I said, music wasn't in there begin to begin with, but now it is. And you can put whitelisted text. So if you want it to always search for a particular text, you can tell it to do that. You can tell it to exclude certain extensions. Now it was bringing up things that were being worked on in Final Cut Pro for me. I didn't want those to show up, so I've chosen any FCP events and FCP projects don't need to be showed in there. I can tell it to exclude paths. So, for instance, this morning there was something that was popping up there. I didn't really want to see it in the list, and I just told it to exclude that path. And you can also tell it to exclude certain text as well. So, got quite a few different settings in there, and if you mess some settings up, then you can always click on this reset settings, and you're back where you started. This drop a file to test, I haven't tried that yet. So, let's open up uh, Finder. And let's uh, test something. So let's go for a default.ping and drop it in there, see what happens. This file won't appear in Trickster because it's in an excluded path. So it's in Users, Spondicious, Dropbox, WordPress, Backup. Okay, so let's find something that should uh, go in there. And I'm going to drop this WAV file in there, drop a file into test. This file will appear in Trickster, it's not excluded by any rule. 
So it's quite handy that you can do that and you can test files to find out whether they're going to appear in Trickster or not. Like it. So let's try this one here. So what I can do, of course, is I can press the space bar and get it to show up and show what's in the file on the screen there. So that's quite good. Also, what's quite good is that I can move up and down in this using the arrow keys. So there's the arrow keys moving up and down there, look. And I can click the left arrow key to go back into this thing at the side here. And let's go back into music. So let's go across to the right. Let's uh, look at this one here. So press price bar. Lovely. Let's go back over to the left again. Go up one. We can see our videos that are in there. And again, we can go to the left, press space bar and get a preview of it. Don't forget to check out the Video Magical site. Okay, let's come out of that. So there are quite a lot of things that you can do to help you find files that you've been working on. And it's quite good if you've been doing something or other in work related and working on documents, video files or whatever else and you need to go back to it again and you can't remember exactly where it was you saved it then you can use Trickster to, to get back in there. This is something that happens when we're working away and we get distracted by Twitter or browsing something and then we think, what the hell was we doing? Okay, so that's a quick look at Trickster. I think it's a very good application. I paid for it. It was uh, about four or five euros, I think it was, and uh, I think it's a good little app to have and uh, well worth getting. I think the price of it goes up in a little while. The previous version of this was called Blast, and I did try Blast, and it didn't really do anything for me. But this one, I like it. So there you go. Mac 20 questions. If you've enjoyed this video, have a look at the like button down below. Click on it. Because if you click on that, it doesn't cost you anything to click on it. But it does help YouTube know that more people like these videos. And then more people can find them. So, if you want to subscribe, then I'd be happy for you to subscribe to the videos as well. And that way... Anytime I put out a new one, you'll be the first to know about it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.